blockbuster moment for Indian capital markets is here. Just four months ago, Paytm had launched its IPO, which was the biggest ever the country has ever seen. But LIC is all set to break that record. On the 13th of February, LIC filed its DRHP with SEBI and according to that, it will be an offer for sale by the government wherein 5% equity stake will be sold to the public, which means 316 million shares will be up for grabs. LIC IPO's actual valuation cannot be determined yet given that the company has not yet determined its price plan. However, the draft papers show that the government will offer around 5% stake in LIC to the public. Based on the total equity capital of 632 crore shares, the issue size for a 5% offer for sale works out to 53,500 crores to 93,625 crores. The tentative per share price thus works out to 1,693 to 2,962 rupees apiece. That said, the revised estimate for divestment proceeds in Budget 22-23 has been pegged at 78,000 crores for the year 21-22. The government has so far raised around 12,000 crores, implying that it will make up for the deficit of 66,000 crores from the stake sale in LIC. So if indeed the government aims to raise 66,000 crores via a 5% stake sale in the IPO, it will put the IPO-bound company's market cap at roughly 13.2 lakh crores. At such a valuation, LIC will be the second largest insurer and the largest life insurance company globally. In terms of market cap, it could be the highest in India and of course we've all seen in the DRHP where the EV has been pegged at 5.4 lakh crores. Currently, private insurance companies trade at a multiple of 3 to 4 times embedded value. HDFC Life Insurance trade at 4.1 times price to EV based on its estimated embedded value for the current financial year. SBI Life Insurance trades at 3 times price to EV and ICICI Prudential Life Insurance is available at 2.6 price to EV. LIC's premium to its currently listed players will be based on its market position which is quite dominant currently with more than 65% of market share and of course the overall growth opportunity seen in the life insurance space in India. The valuation will put LIC ahead of global peers like China's Ping An Insurance and China Life Insurance, Hong Kong listed AIA Group and US listed MetLife, who are valued between $58 billion to $156 billion. But given its size and dominant position, the street is a tad concerned about how its growth will stack up against some of its private sector players, which are more nimble footed as compared to a behemoth like LIC. But what we understand is that if LIC does plan to bring the public offer at a valuation of close to 13 lakh crores, it will be leaving a fair amount of value on the table for the investors.